Here's some notes on variable orifice flow meters that you might see in the clinic, in the hospital, in the ICU, or in the operating room. These devices denote flow rate in liters per minute for gases that are flowing through them. They have a bobbin or a flow tier that goes up as the flow rate of the gas increases. This one's obviously not in a clinical setting, but the principles on how it works are the same. They are calibrated based on this formula, and um, it's interesting to think about how the gas flows by the float in both high and low flow situations. For low flow situations, the flows tends to be more laminar. You have a lower float position or a lower bobbin position, which means there's less gas or less space for the gas to come around. It streamlines the gas flow pattern. And in this case, the flow rate is determined mainly by the gas's viscosity. There's limited space for gas movement and the oxygen molecules resistance to flow or viscosity dominates the behavior of the gas flowing by. This is of course also true for other flows as well, other gases as well, whether it be nitrous oxide or uh, maybe just air. So the dominant gas property is viscosity here and the molecules are moving slowly enough so that their sticky resistive interactions are a main factor. Think of this as like a friction when the flow is low. When the flow is higher and the bobbin is in a higher position, there's more space for the gas to go around and it allows for turbulent gas flow. In this case, density is the primary gas characteristic that determines the flow rate in this turbulent pattern. The momentum of the gas molecules helps them overcome the viscous effects. Some clinical relevance, each gas has a unique calibration due to its specific viscosity and the flow meter accuracy depends on using correct gas specific calibration. So of course you're gonna have to change these little bars and the markings that denote flow rate for the gas. The rate of flow is proportional to radius as length and pressure are fixed for a certain flow rate.